guys welcome back for another video it's your girl melissa q and we are talking all things skincare future melissa here hi guys i just want to let you know if you hadn't checked out this video stop the video check this one out because it's going to show you everything that i talk about in order on how to apply it to your skin let's get back to my favorites of products that i constantly go back to that are on my hg list I feel like the best compliment that anyone could ever give you to, is to tell you, even when you're wearing makeup, that your skin is beautiful. I would rather for someone to say, girl, your skin is so flawless. I've gotten that a lot, but I definitely believe it's because of my skin care routine. If I'm wearing makeup, if I'm not wearing makeup, I want my skin to look flawless. I have some drugstore, some high-end, and some indie products that I feel like are really, really great when it comes to having really great skin so if you're interested in this type of video then keep watching i have normal to dry skin i do have a bit of combination around my nose area that tends to want to get oily but for the most part my my skin i feel like is normal i tend to pull a little bit drier in the winter months like most people i want to talk about a few things we're gonna get into some really important things that I feel like are must-haves in anti-aging must-haves and to really taking care of your skin okay so and this that it doesn't just have to be normal to dry skin it can be oily skin because I'm going to talk about for all skin types how about that I know I did like a comparison do they do the same thing yes but I have been killing this and I can tell a difference with this than any other micellar water and I've tried so many micellar waters you guys but the Bioderma this moisturizing makeup removing micelle solution this is so good I use it to cleanse my skin in the morning with a facial cotton and these you guys I have found some at the drugstore that is very comparable to the Shiseido I'm just saying this is amazing it's amazing for removing eye makeup very gently it's great for just cleansing the skin giving it a good like removal of makeup and dirt and if you didn't know micellar water is it is a difference between a micellar water and a toner okay micellar water is going to remove it is down to a molecular science that micellar water actually attracts dirt to your cotton pad when you put the micellar water on the cotton pad it's going to attract it to the pad so that's the reason why micellar water is really really great it's going to remove makeup anything it's going to pull it to it it's like electrons and protons is down to that type of science which i like i love 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 bioderma it is so good you can try others that at the drugstore i do like the l'oreal as well as the garnier but the bioderma this one i really can tell the difference don't worry i'm gonna list everything down below i feel like cleansers are really really um misrepresented okay and I feel like you have to do a double cleanse if you are using makeup you have to do a double cleanse now granted you can use oil you can use coconut oil I don't tend to use coconut oil because it's kind of like too heavy I want something that's going to when it solidifies when it gets cold is it still an oil that will tell you if it's something that's going to clog the pores or not. Mm. So you can use something like grapeseed oil. You can use olive oil. If you want to make your own avocado oil, those type of oils that when it cools down, if it's still an oil, when it heats up, it's still an oil. Those are the type of oils I love to use because they're not going to clog. And when they solidify, they're going to clog your pores. That's the reason why I don't use coconut oil on my face to cleanse it. I know a lot of people do, but... You might be getting some breakouts for that. I'm just saying. I am sharing with you guys my holy grails, by the way, because these are things that I've tested. They're tried and true. I probably have a review or I've talked about it in a favorites. These are definitely game changers to me. This is the deep cleansing oil. A friend of mine, actually my son's godmother, introduced this to me. This is by DHC. I love this. You put it on a dry face. This is actually better than purity my philosophy to me oh my goodness that is one of my holy grails but this actually tops it this is like my favorite i do have some cleansing balms that i'm trying right now and the elemis pro collagen 
cleansing balm is number two to this okay which is another staple that i just ran out of but y'all this dhc cleansing oil is the bomb the reason why i love this is because if i wanted to do one step i could definitely do with this because what happens is it's an oil first and then when you, when water touches it it turns into a milky cleanser and rinses off i love this so much it is a k beauty product and i enjoy this so much it's made in japan and um it's just so so good you can catch this at Ulta the next item I love that you're gonna see me always have this is the Kiehl's Candela deep cleansing foaming face wash this is for normal to oily skin I think dry skin could actually take this in the summer spring and summer months I'm not sure about the winter but y'all this is so good it is high foam you don't need a lot it is thick but i just take it i add some water to it and it gives me a really really good foam and when i say it's squeaky clean without stripping it is so good kills is such a great brand in general you'll probably see some more things that i have been testing that i'm loving from kills in the near future but this is such a great cleanser this is another cleanser that i absolutely love that is cleansing but not stripping this is the youth to the people kale and green tea green tea spinach vitamins <laughs> superfood cleanser this is so good i've had it in this size i've had i have it in the small size i have it in the deluxe size i have it in the travel size this is so good i really really enjoy it you're going to get a good lather from it you're going to feel cleansed and um it's just so good for your skin as well so um youth to the people is another brand that i am trying some other things from that you're going to see in the near future but i absolutely love this cleanser these are the two cleansers that are like my holy grails you're going to always see and you're going to always see this and now the pro collagen those these are the two cleansing oils and you're going to see these as i have a balm a an oil and then i have two cleansers that i absolutely love i feel like really any skin like type even if you're sensitive you can use these they're very gentle they're from great brands i love them so much let's move on before we go into serums you definitely want to tone if you're having issues with acne if you are having issues with just unbalanced skin and then you want to go back to you know back to your serums and everything you don't have to use a toner all the time but you want to keep that ph balance and so that's what a toner does witch hazel my dickinson's witch hazel i've talked about that i do have a video of why you need a toner in your life i will link that in the icards up here so you guys can check that out but witch hazel is something that i usually keep on hand all the time rose water is also a great toner this one is by florin b i just did a review of their products they're all under 30 dollars and they're non-toxic this is the rose and shine refreshing rose water toner really really enjoy this so good those are the least expensive i think in your skincare routine would probably be a toner I have started to incorporate essences, but I'm not going to talk about them today because I'm just starting to really get into them. Those are more skin conditioners. They're going to soften the skin. They're going to help things absorb a little bit more. Let's move to serums. I feel like serums are really, really important. I'm going to talk about some from the drugstore, but this is a holy grail of mine. This is the Sunless Tan Anti-Aging Face Serum from Kula. The reason why this is so good, it's a four in one. It has your hyaluronic acid, it has your vitamin C, which I feel like those are a must for my skin, keeping it hydrating, hydrated. And by the way, just because you have oily skin does not mean you can have di dehydrated oily skin. That That is a thing. Okay, so you definitely want to use hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is going to be thin. It's, serum, it's a serum, so it's not going to contribute to any oil production, but it's going to add to the hydration. The vitamin C in here is going to brighten the skin as well as if you have hyperpigmentation, you definitely want to be putting vitamin C on your face, on your skin, because it's going to lighten and brighten up those dark spots so this is my serum it has hyaluronic acid it has vitamin c it has argon oil in it 
and it's an anti-aging so this is a plus this is a must in my skincare routine another one that's really great from the drugstore that's very comparable because it has the vitamin c and hyaluronic acid is the derma e vitamin c concentrated serum it has hyaluronic acid and vitamin c in it it's really really great and let's talk about some more serums that are really important to me this one is an eye serum for my eyes i will already criticize a an eye cream there's only a few eye creams that I feel like are really, really good. This is the Genifique Concentrate Eye Illuminator. I really, really like this. It actually sterilizes itself each with each use. Um, this is a self-sterilization type of ball, but you put it under the eye and it's a serum. It serves as your eye, daytime eye cream. I really, really enjoy this and it helps with the under eye bags because of that. It's very, very cooling and i really really enjoyed this this is a serum for the eyes that i really like i'm getting into some more um medical grade skincare but this is these are things that i feel like are great to that you can find at the drugstore and within like a, a comparable price range because when you get into medical grade it gets really really expensive not to say that other serums are not expensive but these are the ones that I really, really like. Okay, a few more serums and then we're going to go into retinols because I feel like retinols are really, really important as well. I talked about the Physician's Formula. This is the Rose, Rose All Day Titans and Brightens. I have a full review on this. It is oil-free. I feel like it's amazing. It's great. It's $14 from the drugstore. And I would say if you're going to get anything from the drugstore that you want as a primer, some radiance, really, really great for the skin. Hmm, this one is it. I just have to say that. I, would, I really, really like that one. And y'all, this one you're going to have to get from the drugstore too because this is really good. This is the Vichy Mineral 89. Oh my goodness. This is like splashing water on your face and then the, and then the water absorbing to your skin and staying. Like this is so good. I feel like that this is the best hyaluronic acid and it yeah like if you this is a great 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 like skin boosting it is exactly what it says um i have used this and this is a new bottle i have used sample after sample and i was like girl you just, just get the thing so this is so good i have the 75 mil but y'all if you get anything from the drugstore and you need some hydration and you just have dry skin nonstop, get this you'll thank me later the next thing I want to talk about, this one is one that I have started to use. I haven't done a review on it, but I am going to do a full um, Good Molecules review. Hyaluron Acid from them. It's good. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait a minute. Let me calm down. Hyaluron Acid Serum Good Molecules in general it's affordable and this stuff is really good i was like there's so many things about good molecules that i love that i'm going to go into another video into i just can't explain it all but this is a really great hyaluronic uh, serum i really like this one from drunk elephant this is the a passioni retinol cream i also really really love this one is from this is a retinol renewing serum this is by karen dr karen's grossman's this is so good this is a retinol now when you use retinols you don't want to go in with your acids and everything you want to use this by yourself and then go into your moisturizer this is an anti-aging this is like cell renewal Turning back the hands of time, you want to use this on a dry face. After you've cleansed your face, use this on a dry face, then start putting on your moisturizer. You want this to work pretty much by itself. And um, yeah, or you can use this in conjunction to with a hyaluronic acid, but in terms of like lactic and glycolic. And y'all, this is just my uh, opinion and recommendation, but you know, you do which you feel like you need to do. You might have a little bit more information. Um, if you do, pop it down in the comments. But I did go to a skin care session with Kiehl's. And although I'm using things that are non-Kiehl's that you're seeing, it's still the same thing. Okay, so going into eye cream. I only have like three eye creams. This is an eye serum. This is an eye cream that I really like. This is the Gold McFadden MD. This is the Bright Eyes Dark Circle Radiance Concentrate. This is so 
good. This is so good. I found, I discovered this through Etsy, my ultimate bag. And I put this on and I was like, whoa, I could tell the next day my under eye, like my, your eyes will tell. So that one's really great. And then I also have one more. This is the moisturizer, but the eye cream I really do enjoy and the Tatcha, the pearl one. Um, I've used that when I've used that a sample like a little bit goes a long way to the point where I want to buy the full size but that is really good as well again I'm gonna put all this stuff down below because I'm not showing every single thing I've talked about this a ton I definitely you know I'm at this point where I want to do like a full dedicated review on this oil by itself because it's super pricey it's in the 70 80 range yes an oil but this is the vitamin infusion oil this one has vitamin a through f in this oil so i'm still getting my vitamin c in this oil so it's like a dual thing but when i say this couples great with any serum with any cream and it does the job oh my goodness this is so good and oils are so important because oil production has a lot to do with that balance that ph balance as well as the collagen production all of that all of that you definitely want to make sure you're getting a great oil i love the tart maracuja oil i have it but i haven't opened it yet another one i am loving is the marula oil by the brand marula this is the Marula Pure Beauty Oil. It's pure Marula facial oil. This is so good for your skin. I have found a new love for Marula oil. I love it so much. I love the Pixie Rose Oil. I had to pick it out, you guys. The Pixie Rose Oil as well as the Youth to the Pe People Acai Prickly Pear Goji Oil. These are like glow oils, but the rose oil is also it's a nourishing. It's a very hydrating type of oil. So really do love these face oils. I feel like oils are just something that I've always, I've done really in my 30s a lot. And I'm so glad because it really keeps everything like plump and hydrated looking. So really enjoy those. Let's move on to moisturizers. I am a lover of a good moisturizer, y'all. We're going to talk about some from the drugstore. Really, really enjoy. This is the Derma E Vitamin C Renewing Moisturizer. I really like this because, again, it helps with collagen health as well as it has probiotics and it has the vitamin C in it. Y'all, those are the things that you want to look into when you're picking your moisturizer. And you want to make sure if you're oily, you want to go more to a water base or a gel. And if you're dry you want to use a cream you're going to see oils and creams in this video this one is really really good really enjoyed that one another one that i that is holy grail status from the drugstore is the l'oreal hydra genius this is so good it's like a gel cream they also have this for oily skin so i'm not leaving y'all out oily girls but this is really great this is like if this did not have L'Oreal on it and it said Lancome or if it said something else, I would believe it. Like some things, you know, from the drugstore, you're like, oh, I believe that. The Positively Radiance by Aveeno. It has SPF in it. I really enjoyed that one. That one's kind of like dual and it has your vitamin C, I believe, in that one as well. Really like that. In terms, these are all more on the high end that I'm going to talk about now. The Belief Aqua Bomb. I feel like if you have oily skin, if you have normal to dry skin, this is for all skin types. It's a K-Beauty brand. This is a must-have. This is a holy grail in my collection, in my skincare routine. I love it so much. It's amazing. And I feel like it's year-round. If they do have a moisture cream, if you need something a little bit heavier. But this one is a gel. And let me show you what I'm talking about. If you are a, if you're an oily girl, you want something that looks more like this. You want it to look more watery and have more of a water consistency. And what I mean by that, I'm just going to show you on the back of my hand. This right here, it's turning, it's like absorbing like water. Okay, fast absorbing into the skin. That's something that you want. Another one, this is a gel cream. This is the ginseng 
energy boosting gel moisturizer this is really good it has vitamin c in it it's going to do the job and have vitamin c it's going to brighten up the skin you're going to have that nice radiance and even if you want a matte finish your skin is going to look good under the makeup that's the important thing. Another one that has vitamin C that I really, really enjoy. I've been talking about this nonstop. The CEO Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. This one I recommend for dry, very dry skin. You can take this at the at nighttime if you're oily if you want to, but I really I really recommend this for dry to very dry skin. And that's what I'm talking about. But I love that one. That one gives me instant glow really love that one the final moisturizer that I'm going to talk about with no SPF in it is the Perlis. this is the watermelon energizing aqua bond balm it's lightweight it's oil free I really enjoy it and it refreshes and moisturizes this one uh, a girl that is oily could use this one that's normal to dry could use this I really enjoy this I have the scrub in the tub I have the scrub in the tub this one again if you can notice really absorbs really fast into the skin very very hydrating oh it smells so good but Perlis is a k-beauty brand as well and it's very very hydrating I hope you can tell the difference that smells so good okay so moving on to SPFs I am loving this one this one I, I believe I'm gonna end up repurchasing because it absorbs into the skin and I have that issue sometimes I'll put on the screen what this has in it because this is just too much um, but this is a really great it's fast absorbing it's the blue lotus a daily moisturizer with SPF 30 I really enjoy Perlis K Beauty um, and I also love again the positively radiance I love the the uh, La Roche La Roche Posay and I also have a Lancome SPF that I really love but we can talk about SPFs like in the summertime but wear one all the time okay get find a really great SPF that one has a lot to do with anti-aging skincare and take the take the I take everything under the eyes included like every moisturizer every eye cream even though I have an eye cream I, I go all under the eye okay SPF goes under the eye too that's what keeps everything looking great and fresh I think I covered every single thing from start to finish in terms of what I am loving currently and my holy grails my staples in terms of skincare I hope you are sticking around if you stuck around you guys I want you to put the spa the spa woman y'all know what I'm talking about emoji in the comments okay Comment, let me know one of your favorite skincare Holy Grail products, especially if I have not mentioned it. Let me know. If I did mention one of yours, say yes, girl. But if I did not mention it, definitely. I love trying new skincare. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao.